Hi everyone, this is James M. Prague. How are you? Good morning and good afternoon and good evening in other places of the world. I'm back. So I'm back here uh, in my room, in my office, and I finally got a new Facebook uh, iPad. Uh, um, an iPad, not a Facebook iPad, an iPad. And I'm ready to do Facebook Live. My other one I had for about five years and it was all cracked and cruddy from traveling. So I haven't bought a new one and now, of course, since I bought a new one, I had to go through all the registration and all the privacy stuff and so much, so many policies and I'm not, I'm not very technical. So it took a while, but thank you for your patience. And here I am. So we do this on a regular basis again. And, uh, I missed you guys. I miss talking to you and hope everything's okay with you. I have my morning coffee here that I'll be drinking. And thank you for the hearts. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've been uh, meeting a lot of people on the road. I'm doing a lot of events and a lot of people come up afterwards and we talk about this, this Facebook Live, the Watchman Facebook Live, and they really appreciate it, and I appreciate it, having them watch and, and sharing this time, so thank you very, very much for bearing with me and, and coming, continuing to be with me. Good morning, good morning, everybody. I have my contacts on so I can see. Good morning, Cheryl, good morning there. Good, yes, hello, Chrissy. <laughs> oh, good morning. It's eight o'clock here on the Pacific Coast, and it's 11 o'clock on the East Coast of the United States and um, in the evening, in the nighttime, in the southern part of the hemispheres. So a lot of been to Toronto with the Hay House University. It was a wonderful experience. And then I went to uh, Beverly, Massachusetts and worked with Maureen Hancock, another very talented medium. And I went then to um, a theater uh, over there in Massachusetts. And that was a heck of a lot of fun. Great, great people there. And... Um, it was fun. It's been really, really fun, and I really appreciated meeting everybody. Um, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Good morning, James. Good morning. I'll read, your, read some of you here. Let me fix this so I can see it. Very good. Jamie Fletcher, hello. I spoke to you about Italy. Ah. I spoke to you. I don't know what that means. Good morning from Washington. Lola, good morning. Monica, good morning. Good to see you as well, from what I can see. Um, I want to talk today about something which is I've just finished. I've been very busy finishing a course, which you might have gotten the free videos already. I'm sure you have. They've been on Facebook. Two videos that I did about my new course coming up. Uh, and uh, it's this is what I talked about last night when I put that on the, on the page about um, something is coming, which I know everybody on this page would appreciate. And it's a course called Life Tools for the Highly Sensitive Person. Because so many people come up to me and ask me about how can they control the energy? They pick up stuff too much. They're empathic. They're too sensitive. Um, you're not too sensitive, but there are ways that you should be um, mindful of in order to deal with these with the energy of a room, energy of a person, the atmosphere around you, what's going on in the world, how it affects you. Um, so, in the course, I talk all about that. Uh, it's a very, it's an excellent course. So it's for the highly sensitive person. One of the things I'd like to do with you today is an exercise that, which is kind of part of the class, but I kind of like put my own spin on it for today, which is for today, if you get it a pad and you can start writing down for one day, which is just for today, um, just write down things that you do all day. And at the end of the day, write down, well, just write down it all. And at the end of the day, I want you to look and see how many things that you do for other people, which you really don't need to. I mean, there are certain things you do need to do, but other things you don't need to do. Um, or how many times today also in that same list that you've given your power away, where you're unable to say no. Because there's a lot of honor in the word no. There's a lot of uh, power in the word no. And that's establishing healthy boundaries. So make that list today of things you're doing. And then how many times you had to say no? Um, how many times you felt that it was mm, you, there was something you did not want to do? Because I don't think we should live life having to do things we don't want to do. Because then you start setting those patterns of trying to please others and be people pleasers. We don't want to be people pleasers. We want to be able to please ourselves and love ourselves enough that when people look at us, say, "Wow, that person really there's something special about them." They, they, they love themselves, they're sure of themselves, they have confidence of self. So it starts all, again, with self and, and how your perspective of the world around you, how you interact with the world around you, with the people in your life every day, your, your family, your employers or employees, 
uh, your friends. It's really important that you stand out. And I always say it's important that you treat yourself as a sacred being that you are. You're a sacred soul having this human experience, not the other way around. So you need to treat yourself with respect. Um, it's really hard, this earth. It's a hard place because so many things have happened um, with, within our lives and we've lost people. We lost people. Grief is a big one. Losing someone physically is a very big thing because uh, we're caught up in the illusion of this as, as a friend of mine said, we're caught up in the illusion of the delusion, which is, this is a delusion. This is not real. This earth world, it feels real, but really in the scheme of things, it's a blink of an eye. And it matters really what you do with your heart here uh, on this earth. That's really important. And your heart, you are in control of your heart. You are in control of how you respond to people's interactions with you, what people say to you, how you receive things. So does it empower you or does it disable you? Something I just want you guys to consider as you make your list today. At the end of the day, just you know, assess it. Assess your list and see how much um, of your power you've given away. But you really wanted to say no, but you didn't. And why is it you didn't say no? You can make a little note about that. I think it's a really good thing to do. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we can talk about that. How does that sound? Good. Um, the Highly Sensitive course will be at next week. Um, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of videos. There's a lot to it. I've been enjoying working with my mediumship three people and um, mediumship two people, and it's been really fun. And uh, again, thank you for everybody who comes and meets me at my workshop and events. The next one I'm going to be doing is um, I leave on Thursday. I'll be um, at the Lavoie Theater in New Jersey. I think it's in Pennsylvania, Western New Jersey, Lavoie Theater. It's on my event page at my eventprog.com website. And then at that, I'll be at Omega Institute um, for a weekend. And then after that, I'll be in London, England. I'll be in London, England for two days at Alternatives. So anyone who's here from England, is anybody from England? Let's see. Anybody from England here? Yeah. I hope so. So if you are from the UK and you'd like to see uh, do a workshop with me, please uh, go onto my website and look up Alternatives. It'll be June, I think June 10th. So I'll be there for two days in London. And uh, I love London, my favorite place. I gotta be careful to leave my credit cards at home because I find that they find their way to some store, and I don't like that. Um, but uh, I'm looking so forward to that. So that'll be that'll be coming up very soon. And then after that, I'll be here um, working on another project I'm doing, and um, which I can't talk about yet legally, but I'll let you guys know. And any comments? Thank you for your insight. Thank you. Thank you very much. For, thank you. Just stuff I love to share that I, I know from doing this work, and it's something that everybody can relate to. Good morning, Connecticut. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> I was watching a TV show yesterday. It was Sunday morning. I was watching two weeks ago. I don't know if any of you watched Sunday morning, CBS Sunday morning. And they had a little uh, segment on one of my heroes of all time, Mr. Rogers. And Mr. Rogers, I grew up with Mr. Rogers, watching Mr. Rogers. I think I was a little too old, though, but it's all right. I was a little kid. And um, his whole message was, there's no one as special as you. And you are you are better than anybody else. You, you are yourself. Just be yourself. Because there's nothing better than you. And it's really true. Really, really true. And uh, it was quite, a, I think, an advanced soul. Um, and I like that. So I might throw some Mr. Rogers in every once in a while. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. So I think that's some great basic truths to remember. And it's hard to remember basic truths when we're thrown in a world which is kind of in chaos in some ways. So, but we can take care of what's going on within us so, and th not let that outside world affect us. Being in control of your sensitivity, being in control of your empathetic nature. It's not a curse, it's a gift. It's a gift, your light has to be shown. You have to feel things and know things so you can use it in a positive way, not a negative way. So I think you'll really enjoy this course that I put together. Um, and you've seen two videos already, so you'll see what it's about if you're interested. And um, it's going to go on sale very soon. I think probably next week, Monday, I think. Answering some questions here. Mr. Rogers. I know, I love Mr. Rogers. Still show Mr. Rogers? I don't think we do. Good morning. Good morning, Janice. Good morning. Hello there. Hello. Jessica, how are you? Love and light, Valentina. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. I'm up to do a, um, 
uh, some more videos this morning. I do videos every day for the course, so it's working. And when I'm not working on videos, I'm working make, creating new courses or working on other projects, and I'm also doing a lot of gardening. I love gardening, as you know, and I've created a couple of wonderful gardens. Right now I'm creating a shade garden, and I'm going to put in some nice hydrangea bushes for uh, in honor of um, my mother and Brian's mother and our roommate Ken's mother. So we're going to have that be the memorial little shade garden. So it'll be nice. And I found a hand. Have you, any of you guys ever seen a hand? It's a, a wooden hand in the 70s, very popular. But it's a hand you can actually sit in, and it's in a, for the garden. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but it's pretty cool. So I think I might get the hand. How do you know when what? How do you know when someone is around you? Well, I, I, you, come, you become attuned to the space around you, and you, you become very excitable. In, in some respect, it's different for each person, but that's it, tuning to the space around you, knowing that space around you. If you know the space around you, you have a good sense of that space around you, what it feels like around you and within you. And then when some other energy comes into that space, you'll feel the subtle differences. So that's how you'll know. And that's a basic definition. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Conversations with God. Of course, I read Conversations with God. I, yes, I'm very good friends with, with Neil. And um, yes, I know that I did read that book. I read that book right before I wrote Talk to the Heaven. It's hard to read the size of these things, you know. It's lovely. Hold on, it's going so quickly. Oh, it just disappeared. So, uh, that's that, and I will, um, I'll be back tomorrow, so make your list, and uh, thank you very, very much for coming on this morning with me, and look forward to seeing you again tomorrow with my brand new iPad, I'm so thrilled, it seems like I can see you better, okay, goodbye everyone, have a great blessed day, bye-bye.